So hello YouTube, this is World of War Black Ops Pro, and today I'm bringing you guys um, a rather slow-paced domination game on recovery. And I know it's slow-paced, but it kind of goes into what I want to talk to you guys about today, which is which game was better for camping, No Exo, aka the classic game play playlist, or Exo, domination. which introduces the Exo suits, which and the Exo movements, which can do boost jump and stuff like that. And, so, anyway guys, in the background is a domination gameplay in the classic playlist on the map Recovery. And it's somewhat slow paced and I, and I, by the way guys, I am using the AK-12 because what I found is that the as LMGs G's seem to be no more powerful at long range or at medium range than the, than the assault rifles do. And the assault rifles have better handling, they have better reload, they have better... They have a better a lot of things, and there's really no benefit to running an LMG except maybe the more ammo, but the LMGs are, are pretty weak in this game, I'd say. And they have their uses, but they're not they're not like Black Ops 2. And Black Ops 2 has a good LMGs. I mean, that's why I used to use LMGs in my trapping gameplays and a lot of my camping ones, so. But I might, I might get, I'm gonna give assault rifles a try. If assault rifles work better, I might just stick with assault rifles. Okay, so, anyway, here, so, I, what I've noticed is that, that, uh, the classic game modes, the classic, the classic game modes, that they would seem to move really slow paced, so you don't get very many kills, and, you, really, especially when you're camping, you're waiting for people to come to you, it, it can take a while to get kills, and that's probably because the maps were designed for EXO, and no EXO takes away the, the EXO suit, so you're not moving around the map as frequently as you as the maps are designed for you to move around them, so I mean slower. Oh, and by the way, guys, just just before I forget, so you see the fear thirty just right in front of me. He helped me get this gameplay, so you shout out to him. He's right, he's right over there, and go go check out his channel. I believe I believe his channel name is Fear Thrifty, but I, I don't, I don't quote me on that, but I believe his channel is Fear Thrifty. So go check him, go check him out, and yeah, see if you like his stuff. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe to him, but. Anyway, now back to the gameplay and the topic. So, when it comes, so yeah, it's just a lot slower pace it seems in the classic. I don't know. So, and uh, yeah, I used to, well, I think I used to think that EXO was just made, made meant for rushers, and, and I'm and I'm right in a sense, in a sense, like yeah, it is, it is meant for rushers. The rushers get the rushers get the what they need to rush, like. They rush around with, you know, exo suit abilities. Like the, the, those aren't camping abilities. Like a camper would have very little use for the exo movements, except maybe to get to a high ledge or something to camp from, like on top of a building. But other than that, like you don't campers don't really need boost this, boost that. But, but you guys, you guys know the camp god, right? Yeah, he's in my other gameplay that I uploaded yesterday. Yeah, so he's more of a he's kind of a rusher sort. of sort of and like I don't know for some reason he doesn't really like the classic playlist but he has good reason not to like the classic playlist like he show he did show me the exo playlist a little bit I give that a chance and I did okay so I'm I'm just one like I might try out the exo plays a little bit more and see how I actually like it because what I realized is yeah you can use you can use the exo boost and things like that just to, to boost yourself up to a high ledge or a high roof or and just camp up there and 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 in that type of game mode where you're on a high ledge like that and you're looking down on people you don't necessarily need a shield I mean I would still have shield classes but you shields aren't a necessity like they are in classic so yeah, and also sometimes, yeah, in a, in a game mode like this, like where it's a classic game mode where it's really kind of slow paced, shield camping can get a little bit boring. I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest here, it can get boring. Not all, not all the time, sometimes it can be pretty fun, like if you camp a high traffic area, but just the maps just seem, they seem like the ghost maps, honestly. And they seem to flow that way. The flow doesn't seem that consistent on certain, like, like on this, like, like on this map here, this part of the map here, this half, everything just seems kind of random. 
and Sledgehammer, so like, they said they're gonna bring, like, back, like, classic three-lane maps. I don't really see how this is a three-lane map, like, this at least is half. I mean, some maps are, for sure, but this, this map just seems, like, clustered. Uh, I don't really get it. Oh, they see, there's Thrifty in front of me. You guys, shield camping is pretty effective in this game, but especially with the, the LMGs and how they're not as, they, they're not, they're kind of a disappointment and kind of a letdown because they're not quite as powerful as they should be. I might just go to the the, the EXO playlist. I'm, I might I might tr I'm gonna at least try that out a little bit more and see how well I can camp on certain maps. Because I mean that that might that might be the game that I have to go to, guys. Like, I mean, sure, I'll still camp. I'm not gonna go like to to rushing or anything. See there, look, look, see things like this too, like. Yeah, see, I just got killed there. Certain gun seems to kill me like in one or two shots, and then my gun takes me like half a clip. It's ridiculous, but I, I don't really know what to say. So I might have to go there, and apparently you can spawn trap in game modes like uplink, which I didn't even know. I didn't even know you could spawn trap on a game like where, where people were constantly boost jumping and doing all this other stuff. I mean, you'd think it would be really easy to get out of a spawn trap when you could do that. But apparently you can't. Apparently you can because. Because you guys know that like spawn trapping is basically like, I basically regard it as a form of camping. And so you think that if you give all if you give the noobs all these um these rushing tools like like boost jumping and and stuff like that, they'd be easily able to outmaneuver these campers and get get out of the trap. But apparently you, you can still spawn trapping game modes like uplink and pro probably momentum. So I have to give that a try. I mean, I don't, yeah, I'll have to give that a try, man. Maybe get some score streaks, but I, I probably won't be running the Warbird anymore just because that thing is just bad. Like, I got it early, one earlier today. What happens is it only lasts for about maybe 30 seconds without without the extra time thing, and with that extra time, it probably adds about another 10. But here's the, here's the big problem. Okay, so it, it costs a lot of points to get. It takes a lot of kills. Then you get in there, and you start firing the miniguns. The miniguns are a lot weaker than the VTOL. Mini guns are were from Black Ops 2, and plus they overheat. So after like a kill or two, you have to they have to recharge, they, or they have to cool down for about like five seconds. And that that's a significant nerf. I mean, okay, such hammer. Why are you gonna make awesome looking put awesome looking streaks in a game and just to nerf them? And I want powerful streaks. I don't want streaks that <coughs> are just garbage. Honestly, see so here. Yes, it's kind of hard to find people sometimes when you're camping and it's classic. But anyway, we, me, me and Camp were playing on uh, playing Uplink on Riot, and it was actually I actually did okay. I went like four and two, but we joined late. But I was camping on top of the I was camping on top of the rooftop of the prison, and that yeah, it it was working out for me. It was working well, so. It would seem to, but then again, like I, I'm just, I, I need to maybe pr pr adapt my camping strategy to the, the the flow of the game because this game is definitely a different game than, well, especially in the Exo Plus, is a different game than than what than what we're used to, what, what most people are used to. It's a, of course, if you played Titanfall, you might be more used to things like this, but I don't even, I haven't even played Titanfall, so I'm not used to that. But in classic, it's it sometimes it's really slow. It it really does feel slow paced, like slower than Ghost almost. Like that's how slow it it, it feels sometimes. And it is it's hard to find people in this game, and I don't know why. It, it it just seems to be it just seems hard to find people. So I mean, I had to turn my brightness up. I had to even run target enhancer on my OMG. By the way, don't run it on your assault rifle because it doesn't work that well. Even though they're about the same amount of, they have the same amount of power, really. It just, it just seems to work a lot better than the LMG. So if you're trying to, cause probably because the LMG is meant for longer range. But a target enhancer, I don't recommend a close range. It's just, it is not that good. Like. So yeah, so I'm. Of course, I'm running red dot here. And by the way, guys, yeah, I did get gold for my AK, but I don't, I don't really think it's worth getting gold like for all, on certain guns because 
AK-12, the gold just looks like it's spray painted on, and, and it's if it looks faded out too, like part of it's rubbed off. It, it's just not, it's just not that great, but guys, I'm, I'm not sure like if I'm going to stay in classic, because if I stay in classic, I will shield camp. If I go to XO, I probably won't shield camp, or at least not quite as frequently. Because guys, we have to be honest here, like, shield camping isn't wasn't what it used to be, like it was in Black Ops 2. Like, the shield's harder to use, yeah, there's more... The LMGs aren't as good. And when you combine things like that, like, for one thing, it's hard to head glitch on the shield, like, at certain angles. I mean, that might, not, might, that might be just the verticality of the maps doing that, but... Also, the LMGs, the... Given how the Pytake is really weak, and I think the melee is going to be even weaker, since it's the high, highest way to fire in the class. In this class, I think that's, that's a sign that's going to be weaker. So, I don't know, guys. We'll have to see. I mean, I definitely will find a way to camp, but how I'm gonna camp and which place I'm gonna camp in, uh, that, that that that's uh, kind of unknown. But I do think Uplink's it, it has potential for being a good trapping game mode. I mean, I'm not necessarily a trapper. I did trap in BO2 a little bit because to get streaks, but I typically camp. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. If you guys liked it, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. This has been World of War, and see you on the next one.